Hey there, thank you for choosing Fox 14. I'm Chelsea Jones. Sarah Scarlett is back later this week. Topping our second half hour, an undocumented mother is separated from her four-month-old daughter who she still breastfeeds. She's being detained by ICE after getting arrested in the agency's largest raid ever two weeks ago. Diane Gallagher reports. A father trying to quiet the cries of his four-month-old daughter with a bottle. She's not used to it, but her mother isn't there to breastfeed. Maria Domingo Garcia was one of the 680 people detained on August 7th during immigration raids at food processing plants throughout Mississippi. Almost two weeks later, she's still being held at a Louisiana facility some 200 miles from home. This video from the Clarion Ledger in Jackson, Mississippi, shows Domingo Garcia's husband, who requested anonymity because he too is undocumented, with her three U.S. citizen children, all trying to cope with her absence. Her attorney tells CNN that she's from Guatemala, but has been living in the United States for the past 11 years. You know, no criminal history whatsoever. She's eligible for relief from removal, called cancellation of deportation. Why not just release her? And we've offered. We'll pay a bond. Tell us the amount you want. We'll pay it today so we can get her home. More than 300 of the people arrested in the raids were released with court dates in the first 48 hours. Many of them for what officials called humanitarian purposes like single parents, pregnant or nursing mothers. ICE spokesman Brian Cox says all detainees received health screenings that would include asking a woman if she is currently breastfeeding. Cox said he couldn't talk about medical information without a signed waiver, but noted communication between Domingo Garcia's lawyers and an ICE representative who says she responded no when asked if she was breastfeeding. Her attorney says she was never asked. ICE knows about it now, too. Instead of taking issue and addressing it, doing something about it, releasing her, they just continue to say, well, she didn't say it when we first talked to her, so we're not going to let her go. Meanwhile, the first federal charges related to those raids have been filed. They're against 41 of the workers who the government says were in the country illegally. There are still no charges against any of the company owners or managers. Search warrant affidavits unsealed the day after the raid show the government believed the companies knew they were hiring undocumented workers, citing videotape conversations and tips from confidential informants in addition to other physical evidence. The U.S. Attorney's Office maintains the criminal investigation is still ongoing. An attorney who spoke with Domingo Garcia in jail says the mother is currently in a lot of physical pain from not being able to pump or breastfeed. 